Hey everyone, Tommy J here and welcome to Take 2, a game in 2 minutes. Today I'm here to show you Diablo 3's first expansion, Reaper of Souls, developed by Blizzard. So what has changed? First off, what's new that will affect you even if you don't have the expansion? One of the biggest things which has brought a lot of people back to the game is Loot 2.0. The auction house has been removed, so since you can no longer get loot from other people around the world, good loot is now dropping more often for everyone. Also, since the quality has been increased, the quantity has been reduced, so you have less loot to sort through. Another cool thing is over time your chances of getting a legendary increase until you actually get one, and then it resets, so terrible dry luck streaks are a thing of the past. And finally, legendary items can now roll special orange text unique to some legendaries to give you cool effects. You can now base a skill or item build completely around a legendary you get, and you can pretty much use whatever skills you want instead of only having 2 or 3 maximum builds per class. And finally, the Paragon Point system has been updated, letting you put points into some really cool stats. So, what do you need the expansion for? Well, there's a whole new act which has a ton of new and different events and dungeons, new enemies and some amazing music. Seriously, if you normally play with sound muted or listen to something else, make sure you play through at least once where you can hear the in-game sound, because it's incredible. There's a new class, the Crusader, a super tanky holy warrior who is a force to be feared. They use holy spells and with a passive can use a two-handed weapon and a shield at the same time. There's also a single new skill with a full set of runes for every other class, as well as multiple new passives and a fourth passive slot. Another new addition is the Mystic, a third artisan, which lets you transmogrify an item to look like another, or re-roll a single item on a stat over and over until you get what you want, for a price of course. Finally, there's a new mode, Adventure Mode, where you can complete random quests called Bounties. They reward Blood Shards, which lets you gamble for new items for any slot, and Rift Keystones, which lets you open Rift, and for every 5 bounties you complete, you also get a Hrodric Cache, which gives you even more loot. Rifts are randomly generated levels, pulled from anywhere in the game and filled with random enemies from anywhere in the game. And once you slaughter enough enemies, a boss spawns, which you kill for again, more loot, because in Diablo, loot is very important. Remember, if you want to check out the extended video on Reaper of Souls, click the link in the description to head over to my other series, I Show You Games. Anyway guys, this has been Tommy J, have a good one.